Well, hey, everybody. I am really excited today to talk to this guy. This is a legend and giant in the world of MMA. Some of you people might not know who he is, but if you're in the world of MMA, you sure do. This is Regan Machado. Thank you very much. Yes, and we are right outside of his gym here, and um, it is probably the foremost MMA training site, if not in all of California, but the world. This guy is a legend. He's considered probably the father or one of the founding fathers of MMA. How are you doing today? I'm doing very much, very well, sir. Yes, Thank yes. Very much. How's business? Good? The business actually is super good. I'm super happy to be here in Beverly Hills, to be one of the top instructors and celebrities in the world, yeah. to do what I love, which yeah. is the best. You know? And you do. You've trained so many celebrities for some of the biggest movies that have happened. Yeah, I, t I start by with Chuck Norris mm -hmm. uh, 20 years ago. From there, I met Steve Seagal. I started meet Jean-Claude Van Damme. And little by little, I start work on the shows. And the first big show I was a part of the work was John Wick with oh. Keanu Reeves. Yes. I ended up working Black Panther, Fast and Furious. Mm -hmm. He keep going, like a few other shows. So I heard a rumor, a story, I don't know if it's true or not, but when you first came to America and you went to leave, Chuck Norris wouldn't let you go home. He wanted you to stay here in America and, Actually, and train people. Yeah, yeah. Chuck Norris, uh, I get to know him in Brazil first. Or, yeah, I have opportunity to come to USA to see him. And for a couple months, I come to see you, we hang out, we training. And after two months, we start talk like, hey, you're not going to go back. You're going to stay right here. Mm -hmm. And I said, Chuck. I have to work, I have to train for competition. I said, man, you're going to work right here. And he took me to one of his malls in Encino, and he opened my first school. And that's basically how uh, me and my brothers decide to give the shot. And my cousin is already here, my cousin, the Graces. And he said, why not? This is an amazing country, let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. So how did jiu-jitsu first get started back in Brazil? It was my uncle, Carlos Grace, the founder of this sport. He focused in the techniques on the ground. He believed in leverage, a smaller guy can beat a bigger guy. And basically he started with his brother, his kids, students, pretty soon come uh, one of the biggest sports in the country. And uh, he, he and I stayed, Horion Grace started with the idea to do the same idea. And he pushed the UFC to prove the world uh, Jiu-Jitsu efficient, and Royce, my cousin, have a chance to fight and win three events and prove to the world how important jiu fight on the ground. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is important for a fight. And based, that's what happened. Now the sport is a big explosion, over 230 countries, it come a huge sport. Yeah, it's what, one of the biggest in the world, probably next to soccer. And the yeah. Gracie name and your name is... It's like legendary status. So I'm standing with a legend, you guys. Um, so when you bring in a, a new student for the very first time, what is your process um, into like training somebody new that's had no prior experience and you want to bring them to a, like a really good simple. level? Like I've been doing that for so long. The most important thing is the beginning, the structure, the ABC on the sport. After this is to build the game, to see uh, what the right techniques the students can do better and build his offense, his defense, help to create his game. And from there, the checkmate on the, is going to be the submission. Mm -hmm. And what, how important is mindset for the fighter? As opposed to, you know, physical exercise or technique, but how about the mindset? The mindset is the most important thing. But it's very important, the other elements as a fighter. It's very important, the condition, the physical, very important, the hours and the practice, the ability, how good he is in some of his styles, and to mix it up well. All these elements is super, super important because today to be a MMA, like mixed martial arts, is me a complete fighter. What mean a complete fighter? To know ground, to know strikes, to know everything, mm -hmm. to know jiu-jitsu, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, that's what get a real good fighter, a good MMA fighter today. Okay. So if somebody, um, obviously not everybody's going to be fortunate enough or lucky enough to live in California or be trained by you, what should somebody look for that lives in some other part of the country or the world when they're trying to evaluate a potential trainer to, to be proficient in jiu-jitsu or any of the other mixed martial arts? 
Today is amazing because it spread so fast and it's all over the world. And I think it's something like anywhere you go today in the world, you're going to find some amazing teachers. Mm -hmm. Amazing teachers in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, amazing teachers in MMA. The sport grew so big. It's like everywhere you go in this planet, you're yeah. going to find a good coach. Yeah. Now, do you think since the onset, when you guys first started jiu-jitsu back in Brazil till now, do you think the art form has still stayed traditionally intact, or do you think no. it's morphed? No, it's much, much, much more. You have to see the number of people uh, doing, like, you have to realize have 200 countries of people today practice jiu-jitsu, competing, mm -hmm. try get on the UFC, try get on the World Championship in jiu-jitsu. Uh, it's better, better athletes, better competition. Uh, the success to grow today is amazing. It, uh, it, it, it's almost like you compare a car 30 years ago and the car today. Mm -hmm. The Lamborghini, the Ferrari, the electrical car. Right, right. Is that the same on the sport? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Today, the techniques is super high level techniques. It's amazing. Well, you've turned out probably more championships or champions in the sport and your family than anybody else in the world. How many champions do you think you've, you've turned out? Uh, I don't know. I'm producing more champions than other people, but I believe I produce close to 60 world champions from zero to 100. And I believe um, uh, the, the time I have been doing that, I, that helped me the experience to train so many people to become a good coach. I believe I'm a good coach. Oh, Tom, yes, you're a very good coach. You don't have to believe it. It's fact. It's true. Um, so who, in your opinion, who do you think is a couple of the top MMA championship fighters in the world today? I have so many, but my favorite fighter is McGregor. I think the reason I love McGregor because he's a showman. Yeah. He sells tickets. He, he proved the world. He won in two divisions. Um, I don't know if he's the top guy yet, but I believe he have a chance to come back. But I think he's amazing. The sport don't stop. I think he, you have so many, the level is so high. It's very hard to find a fighter who stay too long as a champion. I think yeah, yeah. the rotation is, is quicker mm -hmm. because so many great fighters. You see a fighter come, a champion for two or three fights, defend his title, after this have a new fighter. Yeah. He, like before, under so uh, uh, Anderson Silva is Jose Aldo. They was defending the title like uh, ten times. Yeah. Uh, now you have uh, it's not as easy like before. I yeah. think it's a little bit more tough. Yeah, I don't even know if it's physically possible. The beatings you get and the fighters are much more stronger and technical, so it's probably really tough. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I understand that you also have like an exciting new venture that you're getting into. I like to bring my business partner Henry because okay. he know more about this company. He's a genius behind the company. He helped to, to bring the quality. He helped to bring the vision. He helped to bring like something like a, even like almost like a, 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 a high level product. Yeah, I'm thanks to be he, to having him as a partner. Because I learned more about clothesline mm -hmm. to be his partner. The, it's amazing to see the different of the details. What, sure, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, oh, like, yeah, it's yeah. almost like when you get a t-shirt from us, it's almost like you're going to get the shirt you can have for the rest of your life. Yeah. Because quality is everything. Yeah. And that's one thing we say, like, in case you're going to do something, let's do the best. Yeah. Like, not hold any inch of uh, uh, cheaper or this, no. Yeah. I wanna be sure I sell the best shirt yeah. on the market. Yeah. And we come out to fish street wear, we're gonna have some products fight wear, mm -hmm. but basically we're gonna create a line with uh, celebrities, fighters, uh, or like legends. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why you call Machado living legend. Yeah, I like to, to bring him to talk yeah. about more details about the company. Hey. Man, we gotta get the expert in here. Uh, how are, How are you? Good, nice good. To meet you. Hi. Yeah, so why don't you tell us all about this exciting thing? Um, I mean, the, really the greatest way to encapsulate Machado Living Legends is, you know, we're, we're really looking to offer some quality limited pieces, um, which truly just embodies that champion inside of us all. 
So mm-hmm. really it's about, you know, if, if you're in a fighting world, if it's just being a champion in life, we truly want to be able to embody that and provide you with something that really speaks to you. So the soul truly is from, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but um, what we're offering is going to be a really high quality streetwear. Okay. And, so it's um, going to be like a streetwear, urban right. streetwear? Yes. Okay. It'll be, it'll be awesome. Okay. And when can we look forward to seeing where, it? Where do we find that? The website? So um, yeah, on yeah. October 1st, we're going to have an announcement on your Instagram, which will be... Uh, Okay, October 1st, a big announcement. That's right, which is going to be the website and the pieces that we'll be offering. So look forward to that and just be present on his Instagram and we'll be uploading some stuff on the stories until launch day, which will be October 1st. Machado Machado Living Legends. Don't forget that, guys. Don't forget that. Real important. So is there any final thoughts that you want to give out to the MMA world and all the people that follow you and your family? and? My school is right here in Beverly Hills. Come. Right here. Come. The best school in the world, not just in Beverly Hills. Some jujitsu. <laughs> jujitsu. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Take care.